Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Headshot 2 plugin in Corrector Creator 4 to convert any of the Headshot picture from picture to 3D avatar. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, I already get the Headshot 2. It is already in my Corrector Creator 4 as a plugin. I click the Headshot 2. If you not yet get the Headshot 2, you can just scroll down, go to my video description to click into the, the link that I provided to get the Headshot 2 from the official site. So start from now, I will show you step by step. I click the Headshot 2 and first to convert the Headshot picture from picture to 3D, first I will choose image and choose auto. Just take it easy. I will choose any of the headshot picture from here. These are my samples. I will just drag and drop into here. So to drag and drop, it is quite easy. Drag and drop like this. Next, it will pop out a conversation to ask the body type. This is a male, so I will choose male. Then the skin type, you can either choose no mask or clean rough, etc. Of course, you can choose all. Later, it will look old. If you want to keep the original, you can just choose no mask and click generate. Then once it is generating, you have to wait for a while. This is an AI app. The artificial intelligence is analyzing the picture and it will automatically convert it to become a 3D mesh. And you just need to be patient and wait for this process. It can take up to two minutes or one minute if your computer is slow. If you have a high-end computer, maybe it may just within one minute, it can finish everything. So in this process, just wait for a while until it is 100% here. Once you see this avatar pop out, that means it is almost done. Then it may just last a few seconds. Now the AI is generating the mesh. Now it is almost done. Next, you can just check your avatar. And at this moment, you can just go to the morph to adjust the face shape. You can scroll down, go to the head, the full head. Or you can just use the headshot morph. The head wave, if you want to adjust, you can just adjust anything anything that you want to make him look like the original picture. All right. Once you're satisfied already, you can just go back to the content and give this avatar some cloth. Okay, it will be here. The cloth, let's say t-shirt. Double click the t-shirt that you want to give him. Then you can give him some pants some bottom just choose it from here let's say the zins and you can give him some shoes as well just choose from the shoes all 
Alright, once done already, then you can just save it as a CC project. As demo, I'm going to save it on my desktop. I click File, save the project as. Then I save it on my desktop. I rename this as mail01. For example, I click Save. Then, once done ready, this avatar, you can send it to iCron 8 3D animation software to perform any of the 3D animations, or you can export it as FBX file. You export it as FBX file so that you can use it for any other 3D software like the game engine, like, like Maya, Blender, Unreal Engine, etc. Just export the FBX, everything will, will work, and then you can import to other software. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials and sharings on how to use the headshot tool to perform the AI analyzing to convert any of the headshot picture from picture to 3D avatar in Creator Creator 4. And this function, this plugin is really useful. You can get the headshot tool plugin from my video description link and you can get it from the official site. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!